Hello. Hello. Who is it? Did you get the package? Yes. Did you install the lights? Who is it? Did you get a remote? <laughs> yeah. D do I know you? Use the remote to turn off the lights. Well. I'm right behind you. What? There is nobody here. Turn off the lights. Hello, Klaus here, and welcome back to yet another video here at the channel. As you just saw from the opening sequence for this tutorial, that is the effect we're going to do today, inspired by the shorts lights out on YouTube by Sandberg. Um, it is a pretty nice short and I thought I would do a video inspired by that in some sense. If you are new to this channel and want to learn DaVinci Resolve filmmaking tips and tricks and want to have a look at some pretty cool gear, I would recommend you to subscribe. And if you want to support the channel even more, you could join the Facebook or push the member button down below and become a member of this YouTube channel. Well, with that out of the way, let's get right to the tutorial. Okay, so let's get going with this tutorial and we're going to do this super duper fast. Um, we're going to use two clips. In this case, I have the clip of me reacting and doing stuff. And here I have my friend Anders uh, doing some different stuff for me. So let's um, just go right to it. So it is pretty easy. I have here a basic grade on both of the clip. It's identical. And what I want to do is actually I just want to go to the color tab and uh, in this clip here with Anders, I'm just going to go into the curves. I'm going to put in a couple of marks here. And the idea here is to make it as if it's very dark. So I'm just going to play around here with the different things to make it appear as being pretty dark. Again, something like this. I might want to do move this a, a little bit. So again, using curves, all this here is the the dark and all up here is the light. So we're just going to manipulate this a little bit more. Something like that, maybe. Yeah, something like that should be pretty good. So there's different ways we could actually incorporate this into our shot. Uh, for this uh, little thing, I'm, I'm going to do it in a pretty easy way because I'm just going to do all this inside of the color page. So I'm just going to do a mask in the door uh, using my curves. So it should be pretty easy. So for this thing, I'm just going to do a square here, something like that. Then I'm going to zoom in a bit and you know, I can take off the mask like that and then I could um, soften up the edges and use the inside and the outside a little bit. I think I should take off a little of the softness. And if I go up to the grid here, right click, I'm going to add in an alpha out and I'm just going to do that for this entire clip. So for f this is the first step. Uh, next thing, I'm going back to the editor. And, you know, I'm just going to look to my footage here. Maybe something around here it should be. You know, as the, the dude is asking me to turn off the light. I'm turning off the light. And then we could... Like that, I'm turning it off. I'm just going to push B and doing a cut. And then I can move this out of the way and add more in if I need to. But I do need to soften up the stuff just a little bit. So I'll go back to the color tab and I'll select the clip here again. And, um, you know, I can go into the soften and dial it in. So it's not so visible. So maybe I'm going to soften this a bit, something like that. So now we have the effect here. Here's the spooky phone man talking to me. And you know, you'll just do this for the entire clip, just adding in the effect whenever I turn on and off the light. 
So what you could do actually, just to give this a little more filmic look or a little, little more dynamic look at least, you could actually, since these both shots are actually done on a tripod and I just did one take and, uh, and I went out of the frame and I did the takes with Anders. So if I want to like give it some kind of movement, you know, I could just add in first off a camera shake, which I have here in my effects. However, if I add this down to the individual clips, I have to do it twice. So I'll show you another way of doing it. So I'll go back to the toolbox and I'll go into the effects. So I'm going to put in an adjustment clip right here. I'm going to put that on top of everything. So then I'll go to the open effects and I'm just going to write camera. So I have my camera shake here. I'm going to put this on my clip. And uh, as you see right now, it is a bit extreme because it is really extreme. So I want to dial that in a bit. So I'll go into the inspector, into the effects and the motion scale, you know, I could um, bump that down quite a bit. And also the speed scale, bump that down quite a bit. Also the shake level, I can bump that down a bit and the tilt, I can also bump that down a bit. And now we have this very subtle handheld movement, which I think is quite nice because it's creating a little bit more tension in the shot. And then, you know, the last thing to do is to, you could add in the black film bars in top of everything. You can either do that by going to timeline and going down to use the output blanking. However, I usually do this in a different way by going into my power bins. And in my power bins, I do have a aspect ratio pack, which I did, and it's absolutely free. So you can check that out. Uh, links down in the description below. And I'm going to add one of my overlays on top here. However, it is pretty important to keep the aspect overlay on top because if if for instance you put the adjustment layer on top of um of this you are going to have some funky movements with the bars so don't do that keep the adjustment clip underneath the aspect ratio just a little fun tip Okay, so that is how you do this effect. Of course, you just need to add in all the sound effects and all of that, which is actually making the scene more than the effect itself. So if you do the effect, let me see what you did by linking your video down in the description below. Anyway, I do hope you found this video useful. If you did, please hit that subscribe button, give the video a like, share it with your friends if you think it would help them out. And if you want to be notified every time there's a new video on this channel, please hit that bell icon down in the corner. Until next time, keep filming, keep learning, and keep sharing.